Andy, this is always exciting because you, you came up with the peel and stick feature. So peel and stick has always concerned me just because ah, I was never a fan of it, but you guys mastered it it's just to the point you'll literally rip the wood apart, pulling it back up again. You're, you're right. The, the, the people think about peel and stick and I think it takes them immediately to maybe a cheap product or a do-it-yourselfer product, but it was interesting that the first requests for peel and stick were actually from the commercial installers who are used to using a release paper flat membrane and said we would certainly use DITRA if you, we could eliminate having to purchase, uh, handle, mix, and spread thin set like with your traditional ones. So that was really the genesis was the commercial world, certainly not the do-it-yourselfer, but yeah. And it's an amazing bond. It's that we still created. an uncoupling membrane. It is. It's a simple install right over the floor. Now, do you need to prime the wood? You do not need to prime the wood. Okay. It is not an absolute necessary. Ne it's not uh, necessary to do. It's not and a requirement. And if you do, is in it a benefit? In what situation would you choose to prime your flooring first? I like that question, Sher Sherry. I would just say that it's whenever you're already questioning a bond, even if it's thin set, I would say then let's go ahead and prime it. So whether it's thin set or a peel and stick, if you want to prime it, go right on ahead. So if it's a little questionable, primer's pretty cheap, it goes on, it flashes quickly. It's a nice step, better ensures that you're going to get yeah, better saving, sorry. And as Mike said, boy, when you go to try to pull this up, up after you've actually positioned it. We tried rough, it. You did try it. We tried it. It will take up a whole the layer. Which means immediately strands. it bonded. Now we have the regular Dietra and we have the dual. That's right. What I love about this is you have the back of that, that it gives it an R value or a thermal break. Also right. a sound transmission class. It's a great sound transmission class for multi -unit. Which I remember you guys didn't know about that at first and I, I asked about it and you check the numbers and there's a sound transmission class. I do class. recall that. that you're you going do. back a few years. That was like, many years that ago. That was one of your first questions. It's like, well, how about sound sound and we're like well we did it for thermal break but let's check it out and it came back with an amazing rating for a delta contribution number and it doesn't compromise the load bearing capability of your tile job so we still got huge robinson floor test ratings as far as load and support it so, excited yeah. me when i saw it i knew it right away i'm like oh this is brilliant a thermal break and a sound barrier it's all in the same much. Right. You not can, by much. Not by much, but you can clearly see the, the uh, like you said, the right. thermal barrier and the sound attenuation mat on the back in lieu of the fleece that Sherry's got. And you can hand. still snap your heating cable in. That way you have your in-floor heating. It's just simple. Right. This right. is great for homeowners. DIY people can do this. We can do this also. There's a lot of places in the United States where the electrician has to run the cable. And he not, should. Not, not hook it up. That, that's almost everywhere, but there are actually places where even putting the cable through the mat has to be done by electricians. So I, therefore, I they would certainly do this and then do that part, and we don't have the tile setter hopping onto the job for a little bit, having to pull off, wait for the Fair electrician, enough. and back and forth. Fair so, enough. You know. Fair enough. Yeah. Show how easy this goes down, Chair. So there's a the release paper. Feel how... Very sticky. You're not... You're, there we go. It's yeah, really it, sticky. It's sticky. It's sticky, but it still allows you a little bit of, of, of room to move it around to get it positioned exactly where you like it. So, yeah. Sherry Until can, you put it down flat. Right. So she can put it down and kind of place it, it. Yeah, you can do it lightly and go, okay, that's right. Or maybe you put it in and you, yeah, exactly. You say, no, I want to, I want to move it up to get the studs in a row or whatever. And so you do have a little bit of time to play around with it and you get it but now yes. when you do this it's done it's now making contact so this is where we think of it as maybe like a pressure sensitive type of adhesive so now it's down and uh, yeah it's not coming up it's probably not going to no. come up there and if we actually could get a hold of it and peel it up like I said it's going to it's going to take some of that oriented strand and there's no sense in oh there we go yeah. oh okay and I didn't press the corners down that Okay. So there you go. So right now, it's, so it, it's down. You're ready to grab your cable, run all your cable through there, get it tested. You're not waiting for the thin set to dry. 
You are not. You're, it's you're on it right away. Honestly, my favorite thing about the peel and stick is the fact that it cuts out an entire step of labor. And not having to mix the thin set, not having to cart it back and forth and do all that work, and the cleanup of it, like, I love it. Right. Agreed. It's my not favorite. messy. No. And you know what? You know what mess I make, <laughs> okay? And you know she can tile good, right? Yeah, well, I've seen a lot of the tile work going there. Yeah, so when it comes to the professional, efficiency of business model has everything to do with profitability, correct? So, as Sherry just said, eliminate that material, the thin set. Eliminate the cost. Shipping it, mixing it, spreading it, that all goes away. So the efficiency increases just by that mere fact. How do you find the builders liking this product? The builders are just discovering it and saying, wow, that's actually a great idea. They're, they're looking at it like Sherry is saying, I skip a step. I skip a step. Which right. saves me a lot of time and money. And mess. Again, you nailed it. I just, no, it's really good. We've done it. We put I it on the show. It. I love it. We, I, I, was, I was apprehensive. And then we put it on the show. And on purpose, the next day I said, pull it up. And it ruined the floor. I was like... Holy cow. So to me, that's a test. I actually the pressure in the It's funny how that glue activates and it does take, I'd say maybe two or three hours yeah. to really grow into that. And then you Which are is really, fine, but you can still you're really done. You can still continue to work. Well, and that's the thing. The more you walk on it, the more you're pushing it. The more it. it's yeah. gonna actually adhere to itself, yeah. which yeah. is really great. So I, was, you, I was apprehensive when we first tried it. If she likes it, I like it. I like it that you both like it. I love it, actually. Honestly, I do. I, I love it. Say. And if you're going to do it, do the duel. Like, that just makes sense to me. 